You know, from Del Frisco's to Smith & Walensky, Boston has a lot of great places for steak, but Dave Edelman is here to say that some of the best sirloins and fillets are found outside of the big city steakhouses, which I find interesting, Dave, because I know you like to eat steak, but sometimes you like to go to restaurants that aren't even known for being steakhouses. Love steak, and you have the big chains like Ruth's, Chris, and they make great steaks, don't get me wrong, but it's not like they have their own cattle farm in the Midwest. I mean, they're buying from the same purveyors mm. as the other restaurants. Restaurants. So when you want great value in steak, you have to go outside the steakhouse. All right, so let's start at the first place. It's called Aquitaine. I know they're in the South End, they're in Chestnut Hill, they're in Dedham. You like Aquitaine to get a steak dish. Yeah, it's a bistro, beautiful but casual restaurant. Looks like it's uh, right out of Paris. Lots of wonderful things on the menu. Their $10 brunch has got to be one of the br best brunch values in the city of Boston. Um, and many great choices, mussels, duck. You must try the steak frites, though, Dan. Steak frites, yeah. This is the French rendition of meat and potatoes. Delicious, tender, sliced steak, seared on the outside, topped with a black truffle vinaigrette. It smells incredible, and it comes with fries that make the dish. All right, there's they a good fresh cut, extremely crispy. Take these fries and mop up any of that delicious sauce that might be left over. There's a good example of a place you got a lot of great steak for a lot of value. And I know you just came back raving from a place called the Mission Oak Grill in Newburyport. Another good example of what we're talking about. What a terrific spot. This is carved out of an old church, so it's a really interesting looking restaurant. Not really a steakhouse, because there's tons of choices, but the place has a Brazilian flair, including the churrasco steak. Mm. A 10 ounce skirt steak, fire grilled, lots of coarse smoked salt, and uh, delicious sauce on the side. Comes with steak fries and carrots for $26, Dan. You'd be paying at least double if you were in downtown Boston. Yeah, especially when you're spending so much for all the side dishes yeah. at those places. All right, now another one of your all-time favorite restaurants is a restaurant called Tango. It's in Arlington, another place with kind of a Latin feel, actually. Yeah, this place is Argentinian. Mm -hmm. and Argentina has some of the best beef in the world. This family really knows how to cook a steak. Right. They brought the grill all the way from the homeland, Dan. And uh, your choices range from a lamb chop or filet mignon and blue cheese to a mixed grill that has just about everything on the menu. I go with the sirloin steak. Mm. Everybody can talk about ribeye, other cuts, all they want. I'm a sirloin man. This is 12 ounces of pure deliciousness. Get it with a little fresh garlicky chimichurri sauce. Oh, they pour that sauce over the top and this is just pure pleasure. Now you can go to all these places, the Abe and Louise of the world. You can spend 50, 50 bucks on a steak and get a good steak. Yeah. Or you can spend $15 in Chelsea at a place called the Newbridge Cafe and you do that quite frequently. That's right, Dan. I think nutritionists know absolutely nothing. You Sometimes do. my body orders me to go get steak hmm. and yet your wallet can be telling you that's not such a good idea. It's true. Newbridge Cafe solves my problems. <laughs> Their steak tips are made with this secret, incredible, house-made sauce. It is so delicious, Dan, and I get it with a side of their salad that has one of the best salad dressings I ever had in my life. Yeah, so then the salad dressing kind of pours out on the plate. It mixes with that secret marinade barbecue sauce from the steak tips. They're nice and charcoal grilled on the outside. I have to admit, another awesome place for a steak. Thank you, Dave.